I think it was Seth Gordon, author Seth Gordon, uh, someone whose works I always look up to. Uh, they, they are very um, inspirational and they sort of uh, provoke you. Uh, don't read Seth Gordon's book before you have to go to bed at night because his books really challenge your self-limiting beliefs. I mean, you'll always be, at least my mind is always flooded with new ideas about what I should be doing. So I read in one of Seth's book, I don't remember exactly which one, about the lizard brain. And um, Seth um, uh, talks about um, uh, his friend also who wrote a, Stephen Pressfield, who wrote a book called The War of Art. Of art. We've all read The Art of War, but Stephen Pressfield's book, from which Seth is borrowing this concept of the lizard brain, is a book that I think everyone who's engaged in any sort of creative work should read that book. It is called The, uh, the War of Art, right? It, which basically says that there's a part of our brain, this whole concept of the lizard brain that I've shared with audiences across the world, with youngsters uh, at the United Nations youth conferences and other places, is that uh, there's a part of our brain which is called the lizard brain, which is perhaps one of your biggest enemies in unleashing your gifts to the world, in becoming who you possibly can become and in contributing what you can contribute to the world. Your biggest challenge, your biggest uh, enemy is not something external, is not the lack of resources or training or all the other excuses that we like to come up with. It is um, resistance, what Stephen Pressfield calls resistance and what Seth Gordon called um, the lizard brain. Part of, our, part of your brain which wants you to be comfortable, safe and secure does not like to be embarrassed or being in situations potentially which can lead to embarrassing outcomes therefore hates taking risks, hates taking initiative and um, is the single, big, single biggest killer of dreams for talented people out there. Um, I don't know who said this, but these are wonderful words that um, we all have great ideas in the shower, but it's the person who dries off and comes outside of the shower and dries off and does something about those ideas. Those are the people who are going to change the world. I think Steve Jobs said it beautifully when he said, is the crazy ones, the ones who believe that they can change the world are the ones who do. The crazy people out there who are not concerned about failure because uh, or embarrassment because they all take it as a part of a learning journey, right? And so I'd like to speak a little bit to this lizard brain part of you. How many times in your lives have you had a wonderful idea? Um, a new business plan or something that could have potentially um, made a huge impact in the way your life has shaped out so far and how many times have you executed it and how many times have you let it go or disappear or talked yourself out of it. See the lizard, if you allow your lizard brain to dictate your life, every time you have a new idea, give it a few minutes and the lizard brain is going to convince you that this is the worst idea you ever had in your life. So here's my tip, take action on your ideas, take that first step. It need not be, you don't have to go all the way, just take the first step, just gain that momentum. It need not be perfect, it may fail, it may backfire, but that's okay, at least you tried something new. A famous uh, Canadian ice hockey player, Wayne Gretzky, he said it beautifully when he said, you miss a 100% of the shots that you do not take. And the same applies to our lives, ladies and gentlemen. We miss a 100% of the shots that we do not take. All those ideas, all those suggestions, all those business plans, the books, the everything inside you that, uh, that appears in a flash of, flash of inspiration, inspiration, but just because you are not able to uh, take that first step, you allow the lizard brain to rule your life and to talk you out of it. So I don't think it's people with better ideas who move forward in life. I think that it, it, these are the people with average ideas, but better execution. Ideation is easy. Execution is a hard part. Tune your life, train your brain, discipline yourself to execute more. It may not be the perfect attempt. Other people may laugh at you. You may miserably fail. But I think your life, your experience, your skills will all the more be better due to that experience. So kill the lizard and take action towards your dreams.